Hey guys, what's up? It's me. I'm back again. I realize it's probably been like a day or maybe even just a few hours since my last video was posted, but I am determined to catch up on Red vs. Blue as fast as possible. And considering this is the last one that's currently available to the public right now, I think I'm doing a pretty good damn good job. So I'm just gonna jump right into this. I really don't have any more advertisements to say except for advertisements. Um, my mouth is not connected to my brain today. Uh, any more, anything else to like add, at least for right now. Um, I don't trust Temple. That's really all you need to know from the last episode, and I'm re I really love like the Parks and Rec style interviews from this, and I really hope that like w like the season finale or something is like you get to see the final cut through video, or like maybe that's an epilogue. That would be so cool to see. But um, all right, let's do this. Name, rank, serial number. That's all you're getting from me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good place to start. I have <laughs> no idea what your actual name is. Sarge. Every record I ever found just says Sarge. I see right through your ploy, clear as glass. There is no ploy. I just don't know your name. Same. <laughs> you think you'll just butter me up when I least expect it? Whambo! You pry open my mind prison and suck out my brain beans. Well, I'm not falling for it. I'm old hat. The is there a bacon bit in those brain beans? Missy, you might just learn a thing or two. Uh huh. If we're not gonna talk. We can just cut. I don't know why you asked for this interview. <laughs> Yes, keep an eye on you. Mm -hmm. See, Temple and Surge don't trust you. They sent me to find out what you know, so while you think you're interrogating me, I'll secretly be interrogating you to find out what you know about them. Well done. <laughs> oh, no. What? I, uh, I realize now that I've just spilt all my brain beans. Is there bacon in those beans? No, That's the important good. question here. Please, if you could just tell me your name. I underestimated you. The student... Has become the teacher. Uh huh. Touche. Just cut, Jack. <laughs> Relatable. Thanks for coming in. God, he's shaking. Off is that so weird? This feels a little awkward, but I I wanted to express my gratitude and admiration for you and um. your amazing performance back at the Gulch. Temple, we just met, so I should let you know that flattery isn't going to get you anywhere. Yeah. You can't butter me up. But do go on. <laughs> That was the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. You fight like a freelancer. It was like I bore witness to a bright star of hope. Have you seen a freelancer? Amidst a dark and terrible whirlpool. The only reason he fights like a freelancer now for, is because of Wash. Kids, this fight has felt so hopeless for us. What we're going up against. I mean, we're just a bunch of dumb rejects. Clarify what you're up against. Laws. You give us... You gave me... A real sense of hope. <laughs> well, it's not the first time I've helped a bunch of hopeless people in need. <laughs> Just doing what I do best. Well, second best, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know I do. Sex, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, the other thing I, I wanted to bring up is perhaps a bit more sensitive. Uh, oh god. It's about that reporter. Dylan? There's nothing between us. What do you really know about her? Oh uh, god, Temple stirring up doubt. Yeah, I just worry about her agenda. I mean, those journalist types, they don't give a shit about real people. They just care about selling their stories and <sighs> getting their book deals and leaving us plebs to our fate. We're plebs. We're like lab rats to them. That it's plebs. Extreme, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you're right. She did warn you about that bounty hunter, though, right? She, huh, she knew about him, didn't she? She said so at your gulch. <laughs> I'm only saying something because... I've been used enough times in my life already. Yeah, I know that's all. God, what a manipulative Damn. tool. She probably led that asshole straight to me. No. Dick, move. Ha. Oh. I knew it. God, hey, this talker. is... Hey, talker. This glitch in the Matrix shit is gonna give me a migraine. Amen. Oh, they've got a Bizarro Doc too, huh? Nope, it's gonna be a regular Doc, isn't it? Brock? Schmock? Oh, hey, Tucker. It's me, Doc. You know me. Whoa, Doc Doc? What are you doing here? Doc Doc Blues and Reds. These guys are my homies. Oh god. Uh, you know them? Yeah. I was just telling Simmons and Donut your reporter friend that I've known these guys for years. Do you find it weird that they're like, I don't know, bootleg versions of us? True. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's actually vice versa. Like, they're the originals. No. And you're the crappy copy. What? Yeah, yeah. They're the real McCoys, and you are the non McCoy. Face. Wow. Uh, Rude. Are, like iPods, and you are like Zooms. Oh, we that. First. No way, man. Their gulch was like way before yours. That's why they're the Fruit Loops, and you are just the generic brand sugar rings. 
they're a Jesus. Gucci bag. And we're a Gucci bag you buy from a street vendor with vastly inferior stitching. Donut, don't help him. Why do you have a purse? They're all like Spider-Man, and you guys are like Turkish Spider-Man. They're the Ding Dongs, and you are a dildo. I don't care who's David Lee Roth and who's Sammy Hagar. It's still fucking weird that they're two of everyone, and I'm still hot for teacher. I've been able to corroborate certain aspects of their story. In my investigation on Sidewinder, I found records of another Gulch of Reds and Blues. This Gulch was tagged as a prototype, but I don't know what for. You found that on Sidewinder, Oh, huh? shit. That's where you met up with that bounty hunter. Well, yeah, they crossed paths. Did your path have a sign that said, follow me to Lavernia's Tucker? Whoa, take it easy. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, fucking right. Mm -hmm. I bet that made great TV. <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> Damn right it did. Oh, I just wish I had a jib for that big no. Maybe we could schedule some reshoot? Jax. Nice. Super awesome of you guys. That was sarcastic. Come on, let's get out of here, Simmons. Jesus. I'm not Simmons, I'm Jean. Jean oh, God. Simmons. Are you sure? Tucker, come on, man. You've known me for years. Yeah, I just came over to say the Blues and Reds are moving out on an errand, but you all should make yourselves at home while we're gone. What errand? Our cloaking device is failing. We need to pick up some parts from an unmanned mining rig. And let me guess. You it's the plot of Alien. Star of Hope. Oh, that'd be excellent. Sarge is already one of us, after all. I mean, he's joined us. I mean, he's coming along. Well, count the rest of us in, too. Well, I think it's a great idea. I can- Not you. Us. Let's go, Simmons. Um, Don't care. Just help me with my dramatic exit. I don't like where this is going. I really don't well, like where this is to going. Let's this quick. We need some electronics to fix our cloaking device. This rig is fully automated, so we don't expect to encounter any forms of enemy resistance. What the fuck is with hey, the blue visor? visor? Ah, uh, I've ordered my men to switch to blue to avoid confusion. A caboose and loco were having some trouble with that. Yeah, they weren't the only ones. Yep, I've just said it's getting a little hard to follow. Wrong side, caboose. I think he's talking to you. Oh god. Oh god. Pull a Westworld on these meatbags. <laughs> to business. Gene has uploaded Loco's request into your HUD. Now let's break up and see what we can scrap. Are they gonna? Around. This could also be a chance for us to get to know each other. Oh god. I suggest we break into groups of two to maximize efficiency. I suggest we start a counterclockwise search pattern from the top of the base deck. That's a great idea. I was just about to suggest it. God, stop jacking each other off and continue. Whatever. Great, let's go. This is so weird because Griffin Tucker are friends, and Griffin Simmons are a pair. He's trying. Defense is a really tall fence. You don't say. I always say a good soldier is like a rolling boulder. Well, I'll be. I always say a mantra a day keeps death at bay. Hot dog. I always say the only good Griff is a dead Griff. What's a griff? They don't have a griff. Oh, yeah. They don't have a griff. You have an orange one, do you? Consider yourself lucky. You're better off without any annoying orange in your life. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, if they well, came first, how do you why don't... feel about strawberry you -hoo? Really? But you guys are like twins. We are not. I'm nothing like that Gene guy. He's so much of a busybody, nerdy, goody two-shoes. Yeah, man, you just described yourself. A little bit. Oh, shut up. Well, how would you describe yourself, Simmons? Not like him. Ugh. His voice is so annoying. Scientific Amen. speaking, I think we should split into pairs and maximize efficiency. I don't sound anything like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Leesh, I can't even imagine what those idiots are talking about. Oh, God. How do I possibly choose? Both are big and thick and fill me to my navel. But probably Dostoevsky. I find resonance in his perspective that a person is never simply the product of external forces and We can debate causality until we're both stiff in the earth, but it won't change the fact that Tolstoy was the more endowed. An endowed vision of the bourgeoisie. Montaigne, flaccid, and frankly, overrated. You are shafting my man, Donut. However, I must say I do appreciate- Oh, I know who that is now. I've grown soft around these uncultured Philistines. It's Miles. Use our mouths. There we go. Until the things that are hard turn to putty. In our hands. <sighs> ah, Emil Zola, you are well read. Well, I certainly didn't just blow my wad on the Russians. I need to bleach oh, my yeah. ears. It's like Christmas! All it was that egg dog and fruitcake! Nah. But the same amount of stand up pig here! Nah. Great. Is that everything you need? Oh, yeah. Got all sorts of awesome stuff in here. I can fix a vortex capacitor and have enough multi casting chef to the fuck? Cornfield, for sure. He's competent? Uh, what? Did you get any of that, Simmons? I understand Lopez better than I understood that. 
Loco's got a bit of a knack. If he says he's got it, he's got it. Mad scientist, huh? Uh, technically, he'd be a mad engineer. Unless he goes around testing hypotheses all day long. God damn. I can't believe I have to hear this shit in stereo now. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, it's great that you're all safe, but maybe we should try to get a word of warning to your freelancers as well. Where's Decker? Where and no. They? Knowing them? They're probably in the middle of some spectacular acrobatic fight scene. Kicking and punching and flying through the air. Awesome music playing. Man, I can just picture it now. Well, this isn't completely horrible. Hey, Caroline, no, in the morning. Not. I think I'd be better than to be a Caroline. In the okay, I need it. I need to know who was the voice of them, and it's not going to tell me. Good to know. Fantastic. Oh my god. Oh, I, I don't, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't, I don't like him. There's, I don't, I don't trust Temple. I, I don't trust him. There's nothing about him that is comforting in any sense from the way that he speaks to the fact he, he's playing a game. This, this is, this isn't freelancer levels of fucking manipulation, but this is some manipulation. This is some manipulation here. Like, he's like, don't you think it's weird that this was happening? That's, that's like, the kind of things that you say to someone. It's like, don't you think it's weird that so-and-so, like, didn't compliment your outfit the other day? It's that kind of conniving bullshit. That is politician bullshit. And frankly, I want no part in that. And then they don't even bring up, are they the ones who are doing the attacks? Like, the ones who killed all of those people, the entire base. Is that them? Is that a different branch of the UNSC? trying to because the easiest way to destroy the reds and blues would be to destroy their reputation and then destroy them because at that point everyone will want them dead they'll be so they'll be popular popular in the media they'll be popular for a minute as they're going rogue and then they'll fade from the media and that's the perfect time to strike them or even just even when they're going rogue still you could be like oh well specialists took them out because they were going rogue that's easy solution there but like is that them is that the blues and the reds like I don't like this. I don't like this, and it's making me uncomfortable. That being said, I'm excited because the next episode's Freelancers. So I'm gonna end this now so I can go watch that. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I, I didn't get to see you guys' responses about Temple because I haven't actually put that video up yet. Uh, what do you guys think of Jean? I'm curious. Also, Simmons is filling the hole in his heart that Griff left him sad. But also, why don't they have a Griff? Why don't they have like a Gruff or whatever? Like. It doesn't make sense. If they were the OG, then where the fuck is their orange one? I don't... I don't like this. I don't trust this. It's too suspicious. It's too convenient. Like, there's definitely a reason for it, because if anything, having a Gruff to go along with their gene would show exactly how much Simmons is missing Griff. So it would make sense for that. So there's definitely a very clear reason why there is not a Gruff or Jeff or whatever his fucking name would be. So there's a reason for that, and I'm determined to find out what it is. So I'm probably gonna be theorizing on that soon, but... Yeah, what do you guys think of Jean, and then what, why do you think they don't have a griff? Uh, that's what I'm gonna ask you guys this week, and until I put up the next video, I will see you guys later.